Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Do you ever find yourself scrolling through long documents or web pages looking for specific information? Do you wish you could do that in a fraction of the time? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a keyboard shortcut to help you find keywords and information quickly. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first example we're going to look at is when you're in the browser. I'm currently in Microsoft Edge, and here I've got this long reading about the history of rock and roll and what it is, but I'm looking specifically for information about punk rock. So how can I quickly find that information without having to read through or even skim through this entire page? Well, we're going to use the keyboard shortcut Control and F. Hold down the Control key and press F. I get this tiny little pop-up at the top of the browser with a field for me to type into. So I'm going to type in punk. And notice here it says one out of four. So this means that the word punk is mentioned four times in this article, and this is the first occurrence of it. What you'll see up here as well is your up and down arrows. So if I want to jump to the next appearance of the word punk, I can click my down arrow, and that jumps us down to where it's mentioned again. And I can go to the third mention and the fourth mention and quickly get to that information that I need what a huge time saver. All right, let's now look at this in Microsoft Word. So here I have this long uh, written piece in Microsoft Word about a band called The Clash. I'm gonna read through this, but I'm looking for mentions of Joe Strummer, who was a member of the band, and I'm just looking for information about him in this reading. Again, I'm gonna hold Control and F on my keyboard. Okay, so what we're seeing now is on the left, we have this navigation pane that pops up and we can begin typing our search term. I'll type in strummer and boom shakalaka. It just found 23 results. So here strummer is mentioned 23 times. And I can click on each of these to jump to where he's mentioned, and I can quickly find those and read up on it. So what a huge time saver when you are reading through large chunks of text, either in Microsoft Word or in the Microsoft Edge browser. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.